Okay, you know what? I'm just kidding. Anyways, hey guys. Hey y'all. What's what's up? Welcome back. How are you guys doing? How was your week, you guys? <clears throat> Let's try that again. Anyways, hey y'all. Hey guys. How are you guys doing? Hey guys, hey guys. Hey guys, hey y'all. What's up? How are you guys doing? How was your guys' day? Please tell me in the comments down below. Anyways, if you guys are new here, my name is Ashlyn. And well, today's video is definitely gonna be juicy. You guys can probably tell by the title that it's a Q and A. Yeah. Anyways, like I just said, the video is a Q and A, and the reason I feel like, oh yeah, I should do a Q and A because like I stopped posting for so long. If you guys would like to know why I stopped posting, you guys do like need to let me know. You can follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok. Well, Instagram's not working, or you could just DM me on Snapchat, you know? I don't really care. Um, I'm going to put them all here Psych! And in the link and in the description down below. Description down below. Yes. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's today's video. Anyways. Today's video is I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Now, what did he say? Oh. Friends sent me some juicy questions. And then, yes. Hold on, I need to log in to my Snapchat because it's not letting me log in. Just a second. Two hours later. Okay, so I'm gonna answer about 40 to 30 questions. You know, you know. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this is from my friend. My man's friend. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's just get into this video. Okay, so the first question is, is why have you been gone? a lot of people wanted to know like why have i been gone why did i stop filming on youtube why and just you know so you know what i can tell you here or i could film a whole different video on a full explanation because i do feel like that you guys do deserve an explanation for why i stopped posting for so long so i'll tell you part just the basics here and then i will be filming soon why I have been gone for so long a YouTube video you know I'll explain and you know I apologize that I did leave for so long but that's okay because your girl is going to get right back on track videos will be be posting daily or at least I'll be trying um yeah so let me just tell you why have I been gone for so long um I left YouTube because my mental state was so bad that I did have to leave. You know, I had recently found out that like my grandmother had died and we were really close. So it really did hit hard. And like, you know, talking and thinking about her just makes me want to burst out in tears. But I'm not going to because I know like she would not want to see me sad, you know. And then I also had to get rid of my dog, Raven. No, not killer. No. Um, it was just more of like, had to give her to somebody else. And I feel like me seeing her with somebody else really does hurt. But it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And let's move on to the next question because... But yes, guys, that is why... The basics of why I had been gone for so long, you know, taking a break for myself and, you know, focusing on myself, trying to 
trying to find my true self. And, you know, I know I had so many plans, so many plans for the holidays, but that's okay because guess what? Your girl is finna get back on track and she is finna start posting daily. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? And I will definitely be doing Vlogmas this year because you guys deserve it. And I will do, I'll be doing a lot of stuff like Halloween's coming up and you guys, I'm decorating my room for Halloween. I haven't done it yet, but it will be coming soon and I'm so excited, can't wait. And uh, yes, I will be posting vlogs. You guys will all see when it's here and when it's there. And I promise you guys, I will not be leaving you like I did last time. And I'm so sorry that I did. But let's get on to this next question, okay? Because I got to answer at least 30 to 40 questions. So, yeah. The second question. How are you mentally? Um, I feel like. I've been doing a lot better than what I was. You know, I still have those days and those weeks and those months where I'm just, just dead, literally, just dead. But I've been uh, doing okay, you know, better, we could say, so yeah next question is is do you plan on doing youtube for the rest of your life uh, i don't necessarily really know about this question because in four years i don't know what i'm gonna be doing like right now i'm a kid you know i'm young and you know in four years i'll be what 17 yeah i'll be 17 years old so i don't know if i'm gonna be still be doing youtube and four years i don't know if i'm gonna be doing youtube for the like rest of my life you know it's a it's a yes and no okay it's a i don't really know what i'm gonna be doing in four years what i do what is what i do you know i'm gonna try of course because yeah. i see you we good okay we good i see we see each other we see each other yeah <laughs> um what are you planning on doing when you're older? I feel like I get asked this question a lot, not by just like my friends. I feel like I get asked this question by my family and they're just like, do you wanna to go to college? And you know, cause in four or five years, I gotta, you know, I gotta start a savings account soon cause girl, college is expensive. <laughs> but, um, because I don't know, you know, I would still start a savings account just in case like I wanted to move out or I wanted to start a business, you know, it's what I, I don't know. I do have, I do know that I do want to move out when I'm at least 18 or 19. I feel like I should move out then, you know, be on my own because I'll have a good job. I do like want a good job and I do want to move out. I do know that. But like school wise, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you want kids? If so, how many? Um, yes. I see, like, how kids, cute, how cute kids are. But no, not now. No, no. When I'm older, I do want kids. Um, of course, like, I do want kids when I get married because I don't want no deadbeat daddy for my kids are you crazy hell no that. um <laughs> sorry i did not mean to say that who is the top three people you've come to for your problems of course um i feel like i come to my sister the most i mean yeah, I always come to my sister about my problems because, you know, that's just how close we are. You know, we do a lot of things together and that's the person that I trust the most out of anybody in my family. Um, of course, my mother because we're also just like this. Um, my dad, yes, I always do come to my problems for him. You know, friends, I don't really know. I would... I. 
Now, how do you plan on spending the rest of your life? Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I should go to college. I feel like I should, but then again, I don't really want to go to college. Y'all, who wants to stay in school for eight years? An extra eight years when you could just go off and do something else. I mean, yeah, I'd go to college for the basics, probably. Like, I'd go to college for two years. Yeah, I would because, you know, as long as we still get summer break and all that, then I don't care because, you know, I feel like, That's just, I think I would want to become my own business owner because I always talk about, oh yeah, I'm going to start my own business. And, you know, I want to start my own business. I really do, but it's, <sighs> yeah, but uh, I don't really know. Um, I feel like I do want to have a good life. I do want to get married and I do want to have kids and I don't really know about school and uh, yeah but my point of view could completely change in four or five years so I don't know <laughs> um how do you think your mental state is gonna be in a year um I don't know I'll be 15 in a year because no, actually, I'll be 14 in a year. Let me shut up. Um, yeah, I'll be 14 in a year. And I feel like my mental state right now is stable. It's livable. Livable. And stuff. But, uh, yeah. That's just, I don't know. <laughs> um, alright, next question. Is your hero I feel like my hero would probably have to be like I don't know if like anybody on here is like religious like they don't believe in God or something like that I mean no judgmental no 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 judging but i do believe in god so i feel like my hero would have to be jesus and god of course like i have no shame in saying that okay okay but i will not judge nobody for who they believe in and what they do it's not my place and it never will be my place so yeah no but i feel like my hero would definitely have to be jesus If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Paris. Bro, Paris is gorgeous. I want to go to Paris so bad, and I've always wanted to go to Paris. And I still do want to go to Paris. Like, girl, do you see Paris? I'm gonna insert a, I'm gonna insert a picture of Paris. Edit, editing me. Insert a picture somewhere in this, in, somewhere here. Anywhere, oh, right, right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. My whole room's decorated in Paris. Um, what is your biggest fear? Bro, my biggest fear would definitely have to be heights. I hate heights, bro. Like, if I'm going to the fair, I do not get on big girl rides. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, what is your favorite family vacation? Fun fact. Actually, like, really sad fact. I've never been on a vacation. But it's okay, because this winter, we are going on a vacation. I'm so excited. What would you change about yourself if you could? I feel like I would have to change my nose. Because a lot of people make fun of me. They're always just like, you have a big nose. And... I think my nose is unique, but what people 
people are just disrespectful nowadays and they just don't have chill so they're judgmental like yeah they're just ugh ugh what really makes you angry um I feel like what really pisses me off would have to be at the fact when people say they're gonna do something and then like they just don't end up doing it or when you're like in the middle of a conversation and then somebody interrupts you or I don't know um yeah that's that's it what motivates you to work hard my motivation would definitely have to be growing up because I feel like I don't want to say okay you know you know it, it's kind of sad to say like oh yeah I want to grow up I want to be grown up and you know but I feel like as a kid my parents expect so much out of me and I feel like when I can you know drive and get away from people that's gonna be it <laughs> three more years maybe even two oh, shit. no I need a I would need a parent to be in the car with me <laughs> yeah um yeah but that's what motivates me like growing up and thinking about how old I'm gonna be soon and how I'll be able to drive by myself and I feel like that's just how that's just what motivates me you know what is your favorite thing about your career? I wouldn't really... Look, I'm gonna try to build this as a career. I definitely will try, of course, because who wouldn't? Like... But I feel like it's like, if I were... Because now, I feel like it would just be the fans and the supporters and all the people supporting you for the stuff that you do. I feel like that's what would be my favorite thing if I really do like become a YouTuber. I feel like that's what it would be, you know. What is your biggest complaint about your job? Like, I feel like it's hard to find a YouTube channel, like, YouTube videos and editing them, it takes a really long time for me to edit my videos. Like if you, you probably can't tell, but like, you know, it really does take a while for me to edit my videos. It takes me, sometimes it takes me two days. You know, I don't know. It's just, that's just how it is. And yeah, so what is your proudest accom accomplishment? being here today because one year ago I really couldn't say I'm so proud to be here mm -mm. really couldn't but I've grown so much and I just and I just keep watching myself grow up and it's kind of scary but at the same time it's like oh my god <laughs> you know um yeah what is your child's I don't got a kid. What is your favorite book to read? My favorite book to read. It would probably have to be this one. Hold on. It would probably have to be this one. It's called Empty Out the Negative. Um, I got it at Walmart. For, it was on sale for fourteen dollars. For fourteen dollars. So I have to get it, and I read this when I feel sad, and, you know, I feel like that's just my favorite book. It's cute, and I really like it, and it keeps me going. Um, what makes you laugh the most? Um, my friends and my family, and when I see funny videos on YouTube, you know? <laughs> um... What was the last movie you went to, and what did you think? Okay. The last movie that I had went to was Bad Boys. Bad Boys Club. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, I have to insert a picture somewhere. Right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that movie was literally the funniest movie, and I'm so thankful that I did go see it because it was so funny and made my day. Um, <laughs> what do you want to be? What did you want to be when you were small? I'm still technically small, um, but what I wanted to be when I was small was a doctor, but now I want to be a lawyer. This girl, they make that money. <laughs> money. What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? The only child that I got, well, the only kids that I got is my cat, my hamster, and my dog. So, I don't know. We gotta ask them. We can ask Franklin. Hold on. Franklin. Franklin, Franklin, wake up, wake up, where you at, is this you, come here, oh my god, I didn't know you, oh, y'all, I can't see him, let me get this thing, I'm short and this thing is small, I am so sorry to wake you, Grumpy Grumpy, come here, oh, I'm gonna put this down, y'all, Interview. Okay, y'all. Meet Franklin. This is my son. He's a hamster and he's the cutest thing ever. Right, Franklin? Franklin. This is Franklin. Franklin, say hi. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So say hi. Hello. My name's Franklin. Franklin, we have some questions for you. What would you like to be when you grow up? What would you like to be when you grow up? Don't look at me like that. He's like, girl, you're fucking crazy. You woke me up out of my sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put him back because he's mad. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I did not mean to wake you up out of your sleep. I will give you a treat because you are literally the cutest thing ever. And who would not want to give you a treat? <laughs> Anyways. Hold on, wait. No, okay, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways. If you could choose to be anything for a day, what would it be? My dad. I just want to know what's going on inside that brain. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Anyways, um, I feel like, I feel like, um, if I could choose to be anything for a day, it would definitely have to be a doctor. You know, I would want to have the smarts. No, 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 not a doctor, the, a lawyer, a lawyer. Like, I would want to have their smarts and how they be outsmarting people. Like, girl, I don't want to be a judge because I am bossy. I am bossy. Um, yes. What is your favorite game or sports to watch and play? Y'all, I'm all about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't care what nobody says. That's why the Dallas Cowboys won and period with my man Dak. Dak! <laughs> um, but if it had to be football, yeah. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Drive a car? Duh. Um, what would you sing at karaoke night? My granny's favorite song. I'm not good at singing, but I feel like I would sing my granny's favorite song in, in honor of her. Oh my God. But yes, I would sing my granny's favorite song because she'd always sing it and it was just. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, 
What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? Well, I have a Christian mother, so we listen to Jesus. And then I have Spotify, so I always put on, you know, Spotify, my Spotify playlist. Um, what would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? vacuum the house if you could hire someone to help you would it be with cleaning cooking or yard work cleaning mm -hmm. if you only eat one meal for the rest of your life what would it be i could live off watermelon literally mm -hmm. who is your favorite author Y'all have answered three questions, so this was my last question. Who is your favorite author? Um, I don't have one. I mean, like, I could do my favorite artist, and my favorite artist would have to be Usher. Usher, Usher, Usher. Go check out Usher. Who? Go. He's so fucking, oh, his music. Answer one more question before I do my intro. I mean my outro. What are your hobbies? I'll answer this one because I feel like this one's interesting. Um, number one, I love watching YouTube. I like playing games. Um, I like going to go see animals and stuff. And my last but not least, I love shopping. Duh like shopping who wouldn't love shopping shopping is literally the best thing in the entire world okay okay anyways thank you guys so much for watching this youtube video um leave a like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get notified every time i post a new video Anyways, bye guys. No, no, and no. Anyways, bye guys.